Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to a makeup video. So before I get into this video, I do want to apologise, or not necessarily apologise because I shouldn't have to, um, but explain uh, the reason why I've been a little bit absent on my channel uh, for the last week or so. Um, it's just because my mental health is hitting me hard this month. Um, as some of you know, May is a hard month um, and I, ju I just couldn't face the camera. Um, but uh, I, I'm going to bulk film today so I can get a few videos done. So you're going to see this setup um, with me for a while. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get this done today. So on that note, uh, we are here for the Fantastic Ladies collaboration for the Pan That Palette theme for 2021, which is Tiny Pans. And I, like many others, have chosen my mini sleek palettes. I specifically got mine from a sleek advent calendar back in 2019. I actually got three, but I am currently working on just two of them. One is my main focus, that is the Storm palette. And the other one is kind of like a, I dip in and out when I need to kind of thing. And that is the um, All Night Long palette. I believe that the All Night Long palette does go by a different name in the US. So let's start off with that one first. As I say, this is one that I just dip in and out of. There will be monthly progress pictures at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that for a more detailed look at these palettes to show the actual usage like from last month to this month but uh here it is now uh we already had this shiny pan here um but i've mainly been trying to use this brown here it is just a dark matte brown and i've been using that to darken up the outer crease in summer eye looks um there's a little bit of a dip but not much and that's pretty much the only shade i've been working on in this specific palette so that is that one my main palette however is the storm palette and we have some big changes this month we have a brand new shiny pan Yep, I completely used up the reddish brown shade that was in this corner and it was a sad, sad day because I absolutely loved that colour. It was so beautiful and so stunning. I never got bored of creating the eye look that I made with that eyeshadow and part of me kind of wants to repurchase the full size of this palette just so I can have that shade back but I'm not going to because that's not the point of pan that palette. Um, I have been continuing to use this shade in my eyebrows and as you can see we now have some side pans so that is really really good. Um, I really like this shade in my brows. I think it really suits, um, suits me. Um, I have also been using that shade sometimes in the crease um, uh, as a kind of um, as a crease colour but not very often um, but I have used it sometimes. Um, I've also got a bit more of a dip going in the black and I've been using that to smudge out the lash line on a few occasions to make a more soft focus um, eyeliner although I don't do that very often because I do have an actual black eyeliner pencil in another project pan which I'm obviously trying to use up as well so I'm kind of balancing between using both of them for that same kind of thing. Um, we do have a good sizable dip, sorry camera, uh, good sizable dip coming on this gold shade now. Um, and a little bit on this sort of champagne-y pink colour. Um, those are the colours that I use for an inner corner highlight. So um, it's a very small brush that I'm using, but I can definitely uh, see some definite usage there. I did actually use this colour all over my eyelid once or twice as a kind of um, all over eyeshadow colour with just this brown um in the crease that's when i did use this brown in the crease and it made a really nice like understated look it was very very beautiful um 
I do have a good dip going in that blue, but I haven't used it at all this month. My biggest disappointment, despite hitting full pan on that other shade, my biggest disappointment is this red. I had hoped to have more usage of that this month um, because I put a Maybelline colour tattoo in metallic pomegranate into a different project pan, which I was hoping to use as a cream base um so that i could then put this red or maroon colored um, eyeshadow over the top of it however i haven't been impressed with the maybelline color tattoo and i think that because it's a shimmery um cream shadow it's not acting as well a base as the other um as the other maybelline color tattoo uh cream shadows that i've used um in the past so I'm not too impressed with it, but I will continue to try and use it because I do obviously want to use this maroon red um, in this palette and also the Maybelline color tattoo. So I do want to use them both, so I'm going to continue to use both, but I'm not impressed with them. Um, but as we're all stuck inside still at the moment, well, I am, um, you know, I will continue to use it. So that is my progress for this month. Um, really happy to have a second full pan empty that is three in total so far this year um, over the two palettes plus we have um, hit pan in that brown shade um, and we've got some really good dips going in other shades now for my goals for June I'm not going to expect much because with my low mental health putting on makeup even today just doing this eye look it's not as good as I would like it to be and that's because I, my heart's just not in it and I just I only put it on for filming um and so because I don't have the enthusiasm for it I don't feel like it's my best look um I actually look like I've been crying my eyes out to be honest um but yeah so I won't expect too much for June maybe um the gold shade in the storm palette um i might continue to use that as like a one and done kind of eyeshadow um or even maybe some of these colors as one and done shadows i don't know um but i don't expect too much uh change for june but uh once we get out of may and i get back to uh, a semi semi healthy uh, mental health state uh, then I will get back on this so yeah but thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for the progress pictures at the end of the video and I will see you in the next one bye